problem 2.7 and the question is to find P0 and I0 in the circuit okay as usual I will copy the circuit first so let's copy that circuit and make it larger Okay, I think this is a good go. So we have this circuit here, and I think this circuit is a perfect example for using KCL. So when we are using KCL, the first thing you need is to set your ground. So you can pick any node as your reference for this. So let's choose the bottom post here as our reference voltage and then this reference voltage will equal to zero. And because this is P0 from the ground, so we'll have this not here, we'll have the value of V0 with respect to ground and because all the elements is in R in parallel the voltage will be same and then the second one will be analyze analyze that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out Okay, let's assume the direction of the current. So this is going here. Yeah, this is going up. So if you have a current source, just follow the, the arrow. And then this one is already given. So we put it like that. And I want assume I want to assume that this also going down here. Okay, now Let's do KCL at node. What node is it? It is V0. So KCL at node V0. And KCL said that this one, the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Let's see what current that goes in and what current that goes out. So the only current that goes in is from this 9 ampere current source. So I'll have, I need to put 9 here. And then we have the current that pass through this 2 ohm resistor as the current that goes out. And this is goes, also goes out and this is also goes out. So here we have I0 here, but I0 is no other than V0 divided by 2, right? So let's plug that V0 divided by 2 because of Ohm's law, right? And then plus this current here. This current is I0 over 4. So let's put I0 over 4 here. And then this one, this current is no other than V0 divided by 8. Okay, now let's multiply this by 8 so we don't have any denominator here. So if we multiply this by 8, we have 72 and then 4 PO and then plus 2 I0, I0 and then plus 0. And I will have 72 is equal to, what is it, 5 I0 plus 2 I0. So now we need to manipulate this so it only have one variable. Mm -hmm. And it can be done by using the fact that I0 is V0 divided by 2. So I'll have 72 is equal to 5 V0 
plus 2 multiplied by 0 divided by 0 divided by 2 and this will cancel each other so I'll have 72 is equal to 6 V0 or V0 is equal to 12 oh. and if we see here we have 12 volt and in the answer and i0 what is i0 i0 is just v0 divided by 2 right so v0 is 12 divided by 2 and so from here i get i0 is equal to 6 okay. which is the same as this answer from the problem okay i think that's enough for practice problem 2.7 and then we move on